The release of the Skolomance Academy expansion has led to Druid being one of the two best classes once again, so much so that it was recently nerfed with the changes to Kilthos Sunstrider. The main deck which had been dominating the meta was the new archetype known either as Guardian Druid or Animal Druid, but with that weakened due to the balance patch, today we thought we'd take a look at a more under the radar variant of the deck which may rise to prominence a little more, Malagos Druid. While overall this deck hadn't been seeing nearly as much play as Guardian Druid, it already Already received a lot of attention from competitive players and should be more in the general spotlight moving forward. Before we jump into this deck spotlight, remember to subscribe to the Tempo Strategy channel and to turn notifications on to stay up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. As with any Druid deck at the moment, and with the majority of Druid decks throughout Hearthstone history, Malagos Druid's early game is primarily centered around ramp cards. Wild Growth, Breath of Dreams, and Overgrowth allow you to accelerate your curve and reach your power turns at extremely early points in the game. These ramp cards are made even stronger by the release of the new card Guardian Animals. This card is not only incredibly overstatted, but it also does everything well. It is a good tempo card, a good value card, and because of Twilight Runner, it's even a good cycle tool. It would be hard to overstate the importance of Guardian Animals right now, as it is the central focus of every Druid deck in the meta, and probably the strongest card from all of Skolomance Academy. It is far above the power curve even when being played on turn 7, and the fact that Overgrowth, Wild Growth, Breath of Dreams, Innervate, and Lightning Bloom allow you to play it as early as turn 3 or 4 means that it quite often ends games on the spot. To many people, it was rather surprising that it wasn't included in the first set of nerfs. Other than ramping to your guardian animals, the rest of your early game is simple and not particularly powerful, consisting primarily of using average removal cards like Bog Beam and Swipe to keep the board state close, as well as tempoing any Twilight Runners or Teacher's Pets that you have drawn naturally. The other strong part of your early game is Speaker Gidra, which can be very awkward to use with some hands, but with other hands it can dominate the whole early game against aggro and put a tremendous amount of pressure on against control. It is later in the game where your game plan gets a little bit Bit more complex. Though the deck does have a 30 damage combo from hand, with Forest Warden Omu, Germination, Malagos, and your Swipes and Moonfires, this is far from your primary win condition. Similar to the way Malagos drew a deck of old was played, it is very important to fight aggressively for board, not necessarily every turn, but through the utilization of swing turns. The deck actually has quite a lot of value, especially with Ysera unleashed, and even against control, it is not always wrong to play a swipe for removal or to tempo your Malagos when there is a good spot for it. The only time you should be hard committing to your combo is with your Geppetto Joybus hands, where if you reduce any of your key pieces, namely Malagos, Omu, or Alexstrasza, your combo starts to require much fewer pieces and to have much greater maximum damage potential. This is the single most important skill to learn when playing Malagos Druid, having the ability to identify your win condition in a variety of different spots. The thing which makes it tough though is that it's far from a matchup dependent thing. In almost every matchup you will have some times where you are supposed to win with combo, and times where you are supposed to win on board, in addition to times where you have to push chip damage on board and then use a partial combo as a finisher. Even before the nerfs, the biggest reason to play Malagos Druid over Guardian Druid is for its Priest matchup. Guardian Druid is actually unfavored against both Galakrond Priest and Highlander Priest, and while it seems like Malagos Druid is one of the decks that loses on the spot to Mind Render Lucia, that isn't really the case. Because of Malagos Druid's pressure aspects which we mentioned earlier, it is very often often able to set up situations where if the priest plays mind render, they die to the druid's board, and if they play removal tools, they die to the druid's hand. A lot of Malagos druids match up against aggro decks such as Librem Paladin and Tempo Demon Hunter are pretty similar to those of Guardian Druid, and while it used to really suffer in the druid mirror, that was primarily due to Kilthas Sunstrider and Survival of the Fittest blowing you out of the game. With Kilthas nerfed, this will happen much less frequently, and makes the druid mirror a lot more playable from the Malagos side. Other matchups are still mostly undiscovered. Malagos Druid has a good overall matchup spread because it is a Druid deck, and all the Druid builds are strong right now, but the nuances of how it compares to other Druids in the more uncommon matchups are still up for debate. Pre-nerfs, it was definitely slightly worse than Guardian Druid overall, but that may well have changed. One note that should be made though is that there are several different OTK mage decks out there at the moment, which are being used as Druid counters, and Malagos Druid fares significantly better than Guardian Druid against those. 
Malagos. Before we come to the end of this deck spotlight, we'll take a moment to discuss Malagos Druid's mulligans. This can be done much faster than usual, as the mulligan strategy is the simplest part of playing the deck. You want to be keeping guardian animals and your ramp cards, overgrowth, wild growth, and breath of dreams in every single matchup. You keep lightning bloom and innervate if you already have guardian animals, and always against aggro. You also keep the big dragons alongside a breath of dreams. The one card which makes your mulligans complicated is Speaker Gidra, as keeping it is based on your hand context, but almost every time you can keep it is on the coin against aggro decks or on the play with overgrowth. As you learn the deck, you will start to notice the occasional spot to keep Gidra, but the general rule of thumb when you aren't sure should be to toss the card away. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Malagos Druid, and if you have, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with plenty more Skolomance Academy content. Until next time. Mm -hmm.